Sorry. Hey, you're right. First of all, we talked at great length about Syria. And I was particularly appreciative for the archbishops uh, raising this issue and equally grateful for uh, the Holy Father's comments, the Pope's comments yesterday uh, regarding his support for the Geneva II process. Uh, Israel and uh, the uh, Palestinians. <laughs> We're coming here to protest the Israeli positions uh, that they are trying to impose in the so-called framework agreement, which would mean uh, the elimination of any possibility of the establishment of a sovereign Palestinian state. We are rejecting the fact that Israel is not allowing Palestinians to have a capital in their occupied city of Jerusalem. And we are demanding uh, that uh, the Palestinian uh, leadership uh, takes uh, very clear positions to guarantee that uh, peace would be based on uh, the establishment of real Palestinian state and not on the creation of a Pantustan. The Israeli media are reporting that the country's defense minister, Moshe Yalon, has said U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry has an incomprehensible messianic obsession with the Israeli-Palestinian peace talks. Yalon was quoted as saying, the only thing that can save us is if Kerry wins the Nobel Peace Prize and leaves us alone. The news comes at a time when the Palestinians have also expressed dissatisfaction with the peace plan that Kerry has put forward. John Kerry has been on a landmark push to cajole the Israelis and Palestinians to make peace, making an unprecedented 10 trips to the Holy Land in the last year. The talks currently seem to be at a stalemate, but are supposed to be completed by mid-2014. Uh, if these comments are accurate, uh, we uh, find the remarks of the defense minister to be offensive uh, and inappropriate, especially given all that the United States has done to support uh, Israel's security needs and will continue to do. Uh, Secretary Kerry and his team, including General Allen, uh, have been working day and night to try uh, to promote a secure peace for Israel because of the Secretary's deep concern for Israel's future. That's precisely why the Secretary and his team have been working so hard here. Uh, to question his motives, uh, to distort his proposals, is not something we would expect from the Defense Minister of a close ally. Uh, and again, uh, if accurate, I think we've been very clear that we would find these comments offensive and inappropriate. Israel's Defense Minister has apologized for calling U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry obsessive and messianic and saying he hopes Kerry wins the Nobel Prize so he leaves Israel alone. Moshe Alon's closed-door remarks, which were published on the front page of an Israeli newspaper, drew rare condemnation from the U.S. The State Department said the remarks were offensive and inappropriate, especially given all the help the U.S. provides to Israel. After a public rebuke by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Alon said Israel and the U.S. share a common goal to advance the Middle East peace talks led by Secretary Kerry. Kerry has been back and forth to the region to persuade Israel and the Palestinians to agree on an outline proposal addressing the core issues of their conflict. U.S. officials say Pope Francis is launching a more active foreign policy for the Vatican, backing efforts to bring Syria's warring factions together at peace talks next week, and supporting Secretary Kerry's work to find a two-state solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. In questo senso, è positivo. The resumption of peace talks between the Israelis and Palestinians is a positive sign, and I pray that both parties will resolve, with the support of the international community, to take courageous decisions aimed at finding a just and lasting solution to a conflict which urgently needs to end. Kerry and Archbishop Pietro Parolin, the head of diplomacy at the Vatican, discussed the Middle East on Tuesday, ahead of the Pope's planned trip to Jordan, Israel and the Palestinian territories in May. Kerry says he briefed his Vatican counterpart on the status of Israeli-Palestinian peace talks. There are issues of enormous concern to the Holy See, not just about peace, but also about the freedom of access for religious worship in Jerusalem, for all religions, uh, and uh, an appropriate resolution with respect to Jerusalem that respects that going forward. 
The U.S.-led talks are struggling to overcome issues of security in a would-be Palestinian state. Israeli officials want to guard against future rocket attacks. Israeli settlements in the occupied West Bank and how they'll affect the Palestinian state's borders are also a source of disagreement between the two sides. Former U.S. Ambassador Adam Arely says there's little apparent room for compromise. I think they both want agreements, but they don't want agreements on terms acceptable to the other side. I mean, Israel wants a, wants a neutered Palestinian state where it has a security presence and that doesn't have access to East Jerusalem. Palestinians want a state they can be proud to call their own. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas is under pressure to deliver on these talks, especially as Israeli settlement activity continues. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has questioned the Palestinian commitment to these talks, deepening what American University professor Hillary Mann Leverett says is a fortress mentality enabled by unwavering U.S. support. When you have constantly an American domestic politics, this ironclad security commitment to Israel with ever more billions and billions of dollars of weapon systems going to the Israelis. It's like the wall. It builds a strategic concept of fortress Israel where there is no incentive to compromise. Consultations here ahead of the Pope's visit to the Middle East are part of Kerry's push to unify diplomatic pressure on Israeli and Palestinian officials, especially as the pontiff's trip will come near the end of nine months of planned peace talks on a two-state solution. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Vatican City. Given President Obama's decision not to use force or support... Uh, with respect to Israel, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu and I uh, talk regularly and we are both very committed uh, to moving the process forward. Uh, and, um, you know, we just can't let uh, one set of comments uh, undermine that effort, and I don't intend to. Yesterday, when I was in Rome, uh, meeting with the, uh, the Foreign Secretary uh, of the Holy See and preparing for the donors' conference here today, uh, we kept focused on what we're trying to do to move forward. Everywhere I go, even here today, everybody I talk to, expressed gratitude for the efforts the United States is making for President Obama's commitment to try to make peace between Palestinians and Israelis.